Hey there, welcome back to Pokemon Battle Revolution. This is going to be the final episode. Not just because uh, I feel like giving up, but because I don't actually have enough Pokemon left in my box to, uh, you know, finish this Colosseum if all my Pokemon die. So, here we go, final challenge. Um, I did make a new team, I'll just show it, like, now. Here we go. Um, yeah, I added B-Barrel, Camerupt, Muck, uh, Lopunny, Sandslash, and Dragonair. The only other Pokemon I had to choose from were uh, Wartortle, Prinplup, Charmeleon, and Luxio. Everything else is dead. So, uh, I was thinking of adding Luxio, but rivalry kind of sucks. If it was Intimidate, it would be perfect. I wanted Lopunny because it had a fighting type move. This is a water type. Dragonair resists a bunch of things and it has Shockwave too, so that should make up for not having Luxio. Um, and I wanted Camerupt instead of uh, Charmeleon just because Camerupt had Will O Wisp and Yawn, so maybe I could spread some status to help keep myself alive in troubling times. That's my plan, anyways. Last time I got completely destroyed twice, um, so we're gonna try this again. Uh, looks like he's pretty weak to ground except for Love Discs, like, just like last time, so I'll bring Camera up. Luckily, Camera up has a past show berry and Solid Rock, so even if, uh, I do get hit by a Water-type move, it should be fine at least once. That's the nice thing about having it. Um, and then I'll bring... B-Barrel's nice because it has super good, uh, moves, it has Waterfall and Hyper Fang, and that's all it really needs. Um, plus I can lead with it and camera up together, and I can also use camera up and Dragonair together. Ugh, I just realized the problem. I don't have any flying types left. I didn't have any just in general, because that's a problem, because camera up has magnitude, and it's going to hit my teammate if I'm not careful. Do I have anything with protect? <laughs> I actually didn't check this beforehand. This is me learning. No, I don't. So I, I just can't use magnitude at all. That's a problem, but... It's what we're stuck with right now, uh, <laughs> so it's fine, I guess. And then I'll bring Dragonair, just because it's tanky, and then Sand Slash. There we go. I'm not super confident about my current team, but yeah, I don't really have a choice here. Stargazer Coliseum Poketopia Championship Battle 1. The battle to determine the strongest trainer begins now. Alright, let's not lose this time. Of course, we get intimidated right away, and Love Disc is out, just like I said he would be. <laughs> which is annoying. I'm still gonna switch. I don't wanna lose the Pasho Berry right away. I'm just gonna go into Dragonair. Luxio could hurt B Barrel quite a bit, but it should be fine for one hit at least. I'll just Hyper Fang Luxio. The blue corner suddenly calls their Pokemon. Oh, uh, you know what? I just realized that I was intimidated. I should have switched. Dragonair is sent out. The stage is set and the curtain is up. It's pouring rain in the Coliseum. If I had known he was going to make it rain, I would have gone for a waterfall. I should have gone for a waterfall anyways. Waterfall is a flinch chance. Blow. It's a direct hit. Luxio restored its health. And feels the relief. Okay, you went for Swagger. I'm dragging it. That's fine. And look, I know that um, B Barrel's faster than Luxio now, so I can just go out for Waterfall and that'll take it out. A heated battle is unfolding in the Coliseum. The that's super annoying that I was swaggered, but it's not too big a deal for the Dragonair right now. I just need to make sure Luxio's gone. He crit me. Don't confuse. Oh my god. Don't you hit yourself, please. If he hits himself, it's probably over. Because Luxio might attack me. Come on, B Barrel. Thank you. Huh. I'm not I'm not ready for this right now. Sent out. Well, Onslai, I'm just gonna waterfall that. I don't really need to switch right now anymore. I just have to hope B Barrel doesn't hit himself. Hit, 
This is not a favorable matchup. Oh no! That's fine. I'm not too worried about Dragonair hitting itself, but Bee Barrel hitting itself would be annoying. Which is why I'm glad it didn't happen. I'm just gonna switch out against Pachirisu. I don't really need to stay in. Let's just leave so that Beebrill doesn't get shockwaved or sparked or whatever. I'll go into Sand Slash. Ugh. Okay, that actually is a kind of a problem that it's raining right now. Because I brought two things that are weak to water. Sand Slash is sent out. Love this. Starts to attack. Okay, as long as he keeps doing that on Dragonair, it's fine. Sand Slash? Oh, wait, no. Never mind. I was gonna say Sand Slash should be faster than Love Disc, but that's not true at all. Love Disc is fast in general, and also, uh, it's raining. <laughs> it's Swift Swim. I have Dragonair keep trying to Shockwave. I really needed to stop hitting itself. I'm just gonna dig with Sand Slash, I think. Yeah, let's dig. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get water pulsed here. Oh wait, he's still attacking Dragonair. That's good. Cool. Don't flinch from the bite, please. It snapped out of its confusion. And Dragonair's finally attacking. And I got the high roll I needed. Cool. Perfect. Alright, well Pachirisu should be dead next turn. Pachirisu starts to attack. Uh oh, okay, he crit me and I, I I panicked right there. Doesn't matter if it's paralyzed. Okay, he's there's no way he survives this dig, right? Pachirisu became paralyzed. Cool. First battle done. I mean, the first battle was never a problem for me anyways, so... Actually, was it? I'm pretty sure Mighty Anna might have died to the first battle last time. Either way, that, that wasn't the thick of it yet, so... Not quite out of the ballpark yet. Alright, here's water type girl. Everything she has is weak to electric except for Apom, so I'm gonna bring Dragonair first. Um I'm not gonna bring camera up to this time. I think I'll just bring B barrel second. Wait, what does this muck have again? Muck has sludge, brick break, shadow punch. Uh that's kinda trash. But I'm gonna bring muck because it's tanky, and then also Rapani, because I need a fighting type move. Oh wait, no, muck has brick break. Um I'm still gonna bring it because there's no reason not to. I don't really want to bring Sand Slash anyway, so I'll bring B Barrel. Yeah, cool. Fetched and Merrill. Cool, that's the a good start. They're both useless. In the night as we stand on this uh, An exciting battle is about to begin. Let's shock I think we should take out Merrill first. Because I'm not sure how much of a threat Farfetch'd is in this game. You might have a stick, which could be annoying, but eh. Hold on, what's Muck's special attack? I want to know if using these stab sludges is actually worth it. No, not curse, please. 131 to 72, uh, 50% of 72 is like, I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, that's still less than my 131 attack, so even if, if even if I use Sludge, 
it's still not as strong as if I use Brick Break. That's pretty sad, actually. They could have at least given this thing Sludge Bomb if they didn't want to give it a physical move. Stage is set, and the curtain is up. The red corner makes the first attack. A light hit. Great thing about this muck, though, is that its black sludge will keep it super tanky. That was one of the main, um, great things I had about Hypno. Well, that and its great moveset. Um, but muck's a good second, I guess. And he's critting all over the place. Taken down by an intense attack. Did, did she bring her most useless Pokemon? Uh, let's... Shadow Punch? Ledian, I guess? Ledian has pretty high special defense. I don't know how pretty high... It was pretty high is probably a stretch, but it has highest... It's high status special defense, let's say that. I just want to take it out before it gets a boost from Silverwind. But this is not a favorable matchup. Okay, that's actually an issue because that that could have crit me there. That wouldn't have killed me, but I would have been really close to dying. That hurt. Muck restored its health. The next slash, if it crits me, I'm gonna well, die, so I have to switch. Still have a chance to win this. What uh, kind of developments can we expect? A dragon see breath, far fetched. I kind of want to do that to try to paralyze it, but uh, I'm just gonna shockwave it, I guess, and then I'll switch out Muck into what's he doing he's using silver wind and muck for nothing muck. let's go into Lopany. the blue corner calls their pokemon back Lopany is sent out a fierce blow such amazing power okay the next one of those kills far fetched i just need ledian to not get boosts don't do anything crazy please even if he gets boost, he's not going to do very much damage. But I, oh god. Okay, I guess we're trying to take out Farfetch first. Let's make sure Farfetch goes down. I'm going to double attack it. Actually, should I do that? Yeah, it's fine, whatever. Let's just double attack it. I need to make sure it dies. <laughs> I should be faster than it. Lopini starts to attack. I'm pretty sure... Um, I'm pretty sure Shockwave would have killed it, but I I don't want to take any chances. I'm not 100% that Shockwave kills Letty in here, but we can hope. Okay, good. We're fine. Perfect. Dragon Breath, and then I'll just Dizzy, or no, Joint Punch. Hopefully he gets cute charmed. I don't know. I didn't check its gender. Alright, that's fine. Doesn't really matter. He can fake out all he wants. Crit and paralyzed. I'm sorry. It wasn't supposed to be like this, but you had to use fake out. Okay, time for battle three. What's with all the crits? I'm actually getting so many crits now. Alright, next one, next one, here we go. Let's not lose. This is grass type real. She's usually pretty easy, I think. I don't remember. <laughs> Hopefully I don't say that and get destroyed. We're gonna leave with Camera and Dragonair. I need a uh, camera out so I can lava plume. And I need Dragonair out secondary so to take the lava plumes without getting murdered. And then I'll bring Muck and B Barrel. So they're they can all take the lava plumes the best.
This is an important battle for both trainers. It's time to think about a cautious okay. battle strategy. Uh, Weeping Bell won't have anything. I'll just hit him, I guess. Let's <laughs> just use Twister. Whatever. I'll try to have Dragonair flinch them. The battle begins. The in case they survive. The first attack. It hit two Pokemon at once. Well, that's not. That could actually hurt. Whoa, that, that actually did hurt. At least I'm faster than Sunflora. I need Sunflora to go down here so it doesn't kill Camera. It should though, right? But I think I need to switch Camera up to out. So that's not safe. Oh, he survived. That's not good. Okay, he just went for Sunny Day. That's fine. Um, does Sunflora get Chlorophyll? Oh, he's dead to Solar Power. <laughs> It's oh, that's unfortunate. He set up his own death. And now that it's sunny, I could just go for Lava Plume again, but... Beautifly, Beautifly okay, I could stay in against Beautifly, but what else? What else? Roselia is sent out. Uh, no. I'm switching. Let's not do that. Right from the start. Can they find a way out of this predicament? Yeah, I'd rather not have Karamup get murdered to a Roselia. That's just unsafe. Uh... What's coming out? Muck is? What does Muck have? Sludge Shadow Punch. Uh, I think I should... Now let's just drag and rip. I wanted to paralyze Beautiful Eye maybe, but it should be fine. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't think Camrops could take a Giga Drain at itself. But this is not a favorable matchup. If Beautiful had Energy Ball, yeah, no way. Beautiful would have been faster than um than Camrops and would have killed it. Have a right, to let's win have Muck go for kind of Shadow Punch on Beautifly, and then we'll we'll just double attack Beautifly with Shockwave. A fierce blow. Such amazing power. Hit by Silverwind, but this is not a favorable matchup. No, don't get boost. Stop. That's not good. I mean, he doesn't do too much damage to my current Pokemon anyways, so it's not... It's probably not too bad. But now he survived that. And Rosalia stun spores me. Okay, well Dragonair should be able to take out Beautifly. Uh, is not too much of a threat right now. Well, it is, but... It's not enough to where... I'm like super scared. As long as it dies, it's no big deal. Beautifly starts to attack. A fierce blow. Dragonair barely. Oh hey! Dragonair's alive still. Cool. One health is all it needs. I said it wasn't too much of a threat, I guess I spoke too soon. Hopefully Roselia gets paralyzed, because I don't want it to do anything to Dragonair. I mean honestly. The only thing it would be able to do is right there is use like Sludge Bomb, but it doesn't even have Sludge Bomb, I guess. I'm guessing. Yeah, it doesn't. It's just Stun's Boring. That's fine. We're gonna switch. Actually, should I switch? I don't think I need to. Put a Shadow Punch and then Dragon Breath. Because if I switch, I'll, I'll just be switching to B-Barrel. I don't want B-Barrel to get hit by Giga Drain. And camera up's kind of low, and I also don't want camera up to get hit by the Giga Drain. The red corner Perfect. Move. Okay, cool. That was almost bad. Dragon was very close to death right there. The game is 
now over. It's a total victory for the blue corner. This guy's the one who murdered me last time. Because his team is actually good. So, I need to be careful. Um, I really want to be able to bring Camera up so I can... Because Camera beats, like, everything on his team. Except for Machoke. Um, the problem is, I can't use Magnitude without problems arising. So... Uh, yeah, there's no one on my team who I like, feel like giving a Magnitude to. So, instead, I think I'll bring... Hmm. Bee Barrel's weak to four of his Pokemon, even though I really want to bring it for Onyx, but that's it. Dragonair, nah. Oh, I'm definitely bringing Muck, that's for sure. Lopunny can come too? Okay, you know what? I want to bring Lopunny first. I'll, I'll switch into Muck because... Oh, wait, no. I'll switch into Muck in case Machoke comes out, because I can't switch into any fighting type moves with anyone else, really. And then I'll take Dragonair, because it's the safest bet, I think. Actually, I can take Sandslash, and then I'll bring Muck and Dragonair as secondary. Because Sandslash can switch out of Carnivine into Dragonair, and Dwapney can switch out of Machoke into Muck. Both corners are so full of energy that there's no the tang and carnivine. All right, cool. Let's just go ahead and dizzy punch. I think. I don't know what's Matang gonna do. He had Zen head, but I think could use defense curl, but I, I don't know if I'll bother. Let's just dizzy punch the carnivine, and then I'll switch sand slash into Dragonair. Is that the play? If I switch into Dragonair. All I'd really do is... Yeah, that's fine. I'll switch into Dragonair, and I'll try to paralyze uh, Matang and Carnivine. Dragonair is sent out. The stage is set, and the curtain is up. The red corner makes the first attack. It hits. Hopefully Lopunny gets the confuse here. A beautiful attack! Confuse. No. Swords Dance! Alright, I guess you want to be taken care of first. Okay, he's not the fast, he's the slowest thing on the field, so I'm gonna double attack it. I really wanted to paralyze Matang, but now I have to take care of Carnivine before he does anything crazy. We're just gonna Dragon Breath and Dizzy Punch Carnivine. He should die to both, honestly. Cause he took a lot of damage from the Dizzy Punch, so I don't think he'll take a Dragon Breath when he's that low. You know, I, I just stated that um, Dragonair was faster than Carnivine, but I actually didn't know. Cause Dragonair didn't actually move yet, but good thing I was right. Rotom's a problem. <laughs> I could mirror coat. I think I'm just gonna click mirror coat and see if Rotom attacks me. Cause he all he has is Shadow Ball and Electric type move. If he uses, he might Shadow Ball Dragonair, but if he doesn't, then hopefully he can uh, hit Lopunny with a Thunder with an Electric type move. But I'm just gonna Thunder Wave. Um, I'm just gonna Thunder Wave Rotom. I need to get paralyzed. Chocolate, come on. Yes! Yes, Lopunny survived. Okay, Lopunny's gonna hit a mirror coat. Rotom's now paralyzed. Nice! Perfect, I didn't even need to use the paralyze. Thank you, mirror coat. It actually came in handy. Good thing I was right about that. I'm glad he didn't Shadow Ball Dragonair. That Rotom was such a problem. 
choke is sent out. Okay, that's perfect, because now I'm leaving with Wapani anyways. Going into Muck. Um, well, Muck doesn't really want to take a psychic type move, but it's fine. It's better it's just to switch. I'm going to paralyze the Matang. Or should I paralyze my choke? Machoke might have guts. Let's not paralyze Machoke just yet. Matang hasn't gone for anything but bullet punch yet. Good. And now I'm worried about Machoke having guts. I, I can't paralyze it. Submission? This I think this might kill Dragonair. Oh yikes! That did way too much damage. Taken down by an intense blow. That sucks. Dragonair was super useful. Being able to paralyze stuff just all the time was great. Restored its health. Okay, so I guess we have to go into Sand Slash here. That's fine. I can use Sand Slash to take out Matang. Muck's gonna go ahead and... Did I curse? Uh, nah, I don't know if I'm curse. I'm just gonna hit Machoke. Uh, Sandslash is gonna go ahead and dig into Matang. Sandslash should be faster than Machoke, right? Hopefully once... I'm gonna dig Matang, and then once I come out of the dig, I can aerial ace uh, Machoke. Don't crit me! That did way too much damage. Please, please Machoke, do not target Muck. I really need Machoke not to kill Malk here. A rigid shot. Okay, Aerial Ace will kill Machoke. No, he did... A... <gasps> he has no guard! He can hit me when I'm digging! It's a direct Are you serious? That's not how that should work. That is incorrect. Well, both corners That's not good. Because he could kill Sandslash now. I really need Muck to kill this guy. Why did he bullet punch Tanslash? Please. <laughs> Please, Muck. You need to kill Machoke. And that was a crit. Good crit. Screw this Machoke. I hate it so much. It's such a huge problem. Kill. Kill. Please. Crit. Something. Yes. Okay. Well, I lost Dragonair, but it could have been a lot worse because Sandslash almost died. The game is now over. The blue corner pulled off an impressive victory. Jeez. All right. Well, I don't have my Dragonair anymore, which is really bad since it resisted a lot of good stuff, and that could be a problem if I run into like fire types. Like this, it's like these fire types that I was talking about just now, and Prunplop, which Dragonair would have done extremely well against, but it's dead now, so I can't do that. Um, I'm gonna bring Camera up because the only problem for Camera is really Prunplop and also Sandslash, uh, so it's actually a huge problem. And then we'll bring B Barrel. I'll try to take out whatever tries to set up the sun if it does. I'm gonna bring my Sandslash and then also Muck. Actually, let's leave with Sandslash. Sand slash and B-Barrel can lead, and then we'll take Muck and Camera up. Okay, Groudon boy, I need you to not kill me this time. This His print blub is a huge problem. <laughs> Let's go ahead and waterfall the Quillava, I think. No, Quillava is not an issue. Let's hyper fang print blub because this print blub is is super annoying, <laughs> and I'm super tired of dealing with it. Sand slash should be faster than print blub, right? Print blub's speed isn't that hot. Let's dig on uh, print blub. He's faster. Okay, Quillaba's first. Begins. That's fine. The red as long as he doesn't burn me. It hits. Okay, B Barrel's first. B Wait, B Barrel's faster than Sand Slash. Now I'm actually kind of worried that Print might be faster. Oh my god, yes. Thank you. Perfect crit. It's down Thank you, B Barrel. I'm getting so many crits. Corner 
has already taken some serious damage. Charmeleon is for lava. Okay, so Sandslash is gonna dig on Charmeleon next turn. Charmeleon's gonna set up the sun, I think. Because that's what it did last time. So I don't know if it's worth waterfalling. I think I should just go for Hyper Fang again, but just in case he doesn't, I'm just gonna waterfall Quilava. We'll see. Quilava is Brick Break? A fierce blow. Ow, okay. Charmeleon has Flamethrower, that's not good. Please don't. Okay, we're good. We're good, okay, good. I was afraid he was gonna burn me and be real, was gonna die there. Good. Okay, Quilava's dead, and so is Charmeleon. That crit taking out Printlock on the first turn was fantastic. Crit too. What? Is, this is crazy. Everyone's ganging together to take out this Colosseum without any problems. I mean, I don't think Charmeleon would have survived Gig anyways, but but hey. All right, Beaverell needs to leave because ah crap. Not good, but it's fine. We still need to leave. I think B-Barrel would be faster than, uh... B-Barrel's faster than his Sand Slash, probably. But I'm still gonna leave. Let's go into Camera Up. Camera Up does have solid rock, so I should be fine against one ground-type move. And then I'll have my Sand Slash go for... Uh, he might use Dig. Whatever. <laughs> Just gonna go for Dig anyway. I'll try to use camera to burn him. I'm just gonna will a wisp. He has Earthquake. I think I found that out last time. Ow, okay, that does a lot. And now my Sand Slash is gonna die because he has Earthquake. And now I can't switch because if I switch into Muck, Muck's gonna die to Earthquake. That's cool. Uh, I'm just gonna do that because now I'm sad because everyone's dead. Fantastic. I'm such an idiot. God. Every <laughs> I was just talking about how things were going well, and now I only have three Pokemon left. Oh my god. Okay, well, I guess if I can't beat the... I'm, I'm not gonna go back. If I can't beat the Coliseum with these couple Pokemon, then I'm just gonna consider myself lost this challenge. Ugh. Well, his Sand Slash was faster than mine. Just like straight up, so uh, so I'll just try to hit him. Hopefully, B Barrel can crit him again. B Barrel, you should be faster, right? No, he's faster. He has Quick Claw. Quick claw took a <laughs> tears open the yeah, okay. It couldn't take it. It's down. All right, that's fair. That's understandable. I. There's nothing I could have done with a stupid quick claw, and yeah. All right, we're done here. Well, it was a fun run, I guess. Well, that's my attempt at battle revolution. I guess that's over. <laughs> uh, well, it was a fun game. Between this and the Sunset Coliseum, it's just been sadness galore recently, but that's okay. At least we're done. I don't have enough Pokemon to continue. Actually, I could. You know what? I'm not going to end it here. We're just going to restart. I'm just going to try that again. The challenge is over, but you know, I'm just trying to beat it, I guess. Okay, now it doesn't really matter who, uh, who dies, because <laughs> it doesn't count, since I, uh, game's over. Let me right there. Actually, let's bring, uh, no. Mocking Dragonair, there we go. His stupid Sand Slash actually has an Earthquake is nuts. Why don't I get Earthquake? Everyone else gets to have good moves but me. are so full of energy that there's no doubt this will be a great battle. Okay. Well, this is what happened last time. I'm just gonna do the same thing and hope that Printlop dies. And then I'll stay in with camera up and just... 
Actually, no, let's switch out. Yeah, Rob, I, I'm still probably gonna lose if I do that. Eh, whatever, we'll just magnitude. If I can't beat this Coliseum and right now, then I'll just give up. <laughs> I mean, I already gave up, but... Hey. I mean, for real. Yeah, the crit definitely mattered. But he missed Surf on someone. Oh no, I had Pressure Berry. Well, Surf should kill Quilava. And he crit B barrel. Yeah, camera takes one of those pretty okay. Magnitude 4. Wow, 10 power. Okay. Magnitude shakes the ground. But I guess it still kills Palava. It's down and out. This is why I hate magnitude. <laughs> I, di I didn't want to have to rely on magnitude. This is why this stupid camera up was so garbage. Oh, Andy brought bottle this time, so I can't even stay in with B battle. Still gonna hyper fang the print club, and then I'll switch out with the camera up into muck. The blue corner calls their Pokemon back. Muck is sent out. B barrel starts to attack. Taken down by an intense blow. Cool, actually killed it. Could have probably stayed in then. That hurt. Ouch! It was paralyzed. Muck restored its health. You know, I always found it weird that Muck had a tongue. Like, is the tongue made of sludge too? Surprised Squirtle didn't try to kill me. The move I forgot that Faint isn't actually an attack in this game. You have they have to have used Protect for, for Faint to do anything. Taken down by an intense blow. He's still not going for a grass type move. Maybe he doesn't have a grass type move? Well, you know what? Might as well switch out B-Barrel now. I'll just keep trying to go for Sludge. The blue corner calls their Pokemon back. Dragonair is sent out. Rottle starts to attack. A beautiful attack. Dragonair became he, a he actually gets the paralyzed with body slam every single time. A fierce blow. It's a direct hit. Okay, good. Thank you for shed skin. I don't know if Dragon Pulse or the Dragon Breath is gonna stage. take it out though. But I can hope. And I really do hope. Nicely done. Rottle faces a great deal of pressure. Need an iron tail? Attack missed. Bam. All right, cool. Well, I just wanted to beat this guy. There's not really a point in continuing because I lost the challenge, but. I just didn't want to. <laughs> I was just mad at Groudon Boy. Okay, well, that's enough Battle Revolution. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll probably be back, back with another series later or something. I don't know, who knows. I mean, probably not. I'm already doing Sacred Gold. I just wanted to finish up Battle Revolution before Sword and Shield came around. Alright, thanks for watching. Goodbye.